My name is Zhao Tum Hong. Um, I'm the executive director of Chin Association of Maryland. We advocate for human rights and religious freedom. Uh, we are releasing our third report since the military coup. The third report is on the prosecutions of Christians across Burma. <music> After the 2021 coup, the Burmese military, also known as the Tamato, intensified atrocities against the Christian minority across Burma. The atrocities include the killing, detention, and imprisonment of pastors. The military is also burning down churches. The Estites have destroyed churches as a result. Christians are afraid of to, to get together for worship service, and thousands have been displaced. Christian leaders help provide moral and spiritual leadership for the resistance movement. This is especially true in Christian majority state, such as Chin State. Christian leaders across Burma are also in the civil disobedience movement. The churches in Burma, including the Baptists and Catholics, have called for justice and peace. India had uh, a mixed response to the coup. New Delhi is very careful on the political side and do not want to oppose the Burmese military publicly. At the same time, Mizoram state in India has welcomed thousands of refugees that are providing humanitarian assistance. The United States should engage more with Burma's neighboring countries, particularly India and Thailand. Together, they can provide cross-border humanitarian assistance and support the refugees. To protect religious minority, especially Christians, we ask the United States to determine that the atrocities against Christians constitute war crimes and crimes against humanity. This is the first step towards accountability. The administration also should implement the Burma Act, uh, especially sanctions on Myanmar oil and gas enterprise. And the, the administration also should do more to stop the air attacks uh, on the civilians. 